Well, <clears throat> well, brothers and sisters, uh, tomorrow, this morning for uh, congregational prayer, we'll, we'll do congregational prayer, and then after that, I'll have a, a little bit of a children's message, and then we'll, we'll go straight from there into the sermon. So uh, this morning, our offering is for Therefore Go Ministries, which uh, you may uh, think, what's Therefore Go Ministries? Well, therefore, Go Ministries is Youth Unlimited, which it, we have been uh, we have been uh, giving to for years, probably decades. Um, they do lots and lots of wonderful work with youth throughout North America, and uh, they, I believe, they're uh, they're the folks that help run uh, Serve projects. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Serve projects, they are incredible, awesome opportunities for youth to go from their community to a different community, which is important for, for getting them out of their home context. And then they are given the opportunity in that new place for a week or two to serve in that community. Um, back when we were, uh, well, back in 2000, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we were a little younger. Uh, we went on a surf project to Muskegon, Michigan, um, and had the opportunity to help people with everything from uh, building um, wheelchair accessible ramps to uh, filling bullet holes in drywall to painting uh, walls and glazing windows. And, uh, and, and along the way, you get to meet uh, many of the people that you are serving and lots of other youth who are also trying to serve God. And it's just, it's just a fantastic opportunity. And, and our youth group has been taking advantage of that opportunity for, I don't know, decades? Long time. Long time. Uh, so that's Youth Unlimited. <clears throat> In terms of other um, prayer requests and uh, pastoral things and so on, we want to... Um, and unfortunately, some of these things got delayed because of Christmas and Pastor Dan's holidays and COVID and all that stuff. Uh, but we want to extend our condolences to uh, Lindsay Osterhoff and uh, her family with the passing of her grandmother uh, a few weeks ago. Um, we are praying for you, Lindsay, and for your family uh, as well. We also want to congratulate Brian and Stephanie. Brian and Stephanie had a baby boy, Holton Christopher, on December the 27th, and uh, they, are, uh, they are all doing well. We are grateful for that, and we praise God for that. Um, we also want to keep in prayer uh, Jean uh, and her family. Jean's mother uh, is not doing well, health-wise, she is probably in her last days here on earth. But we are grateful together with Jean and the rest of the family that, um, that they know uh, their mother's fate and uh, are confident of uh, where she will go when this life is over. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for drawing us together this morning again after uh, some absence from one another. Lord, we pray very much that you will be with us here and uh, online and wherever we may be. Lord, that you will guide us and keep us in your hand. We thank you so much for your care and love and mercy for us all of these years. We pray that we will abide in that love and grace and mercy. And that because of it, we will live lives that are holy and righteous and pleasing to you. Father, we pray. We pray very much that you will be with all of those among us who are struggling for whatever reasons right now. In particular, we think of all of those who are dealing with school realities. Oh God, we think of elementary and secondary school students who uh, are trying to do things online at this time. We think of their teachers who had a uh, seemingly relatively small amount of warning uh, before having to pivot and offer online classes again. Lord, we pray 
for not only elementary and secondary students, but also for uh, university and college students as well, O oh God. Many of them have made the choice to return back to college or university in person, and so we pray for safety for them, but also, O oh God, we pray for their professors and other uh, staff at colleges and universities too. These are stressful times for a lot of people. Lord, we think of long-term care homes and all of those who work and live in those, those facilities. Lord, we think, uh, we think of yeah, all the stresses and strains that are involved there. Lord, we know that they are not only dealing with the stresses and strains of uh, being short-staffed, but they are also dealing with the stress of being constantly frontline workers among vulnerable, vulnerable people. Lord, we pray for all of our small businesses. Lord, was hearing from someone this morning that 40% of one shift was just gone. They weren't there. Uh, Lord, that is difficult for any business to handle. And so we pray for all of those who are working, who own businesses, who, who are trying to run businesses in this environment. Father, we pray. We pray for those very personal struggles and sorrows that we have. Lord, we thank You that Lindsay's grandmother was very known to You. And we praise You for her life. And we ask that you would be with Lindsay and the rest of her family as they continue to grieve their mother, their grandmother's passing. Thank you for the reassurance that you give. Lord, we praise you for the birth of Holton Christopher and we thank you so much that Stephanie and Brian and Holton and the rest of the family are doing so well. We pray that you will continue to strengthen this young family as they grow together, the four of them. Lord, we pray too that you will be with Jean and her mother and their extended family, O oh God, during these days. We pray that you will continue to be with Jean's mother in terms of her comfort, O oh God, and that if it be your will, that you would indeed draw her home to be with you soon. But God, we rest her in your hands, asking for your will to be done. Father, we pray for all of those in our congregation and beyond who are struggling with other sickness or sorrow. Lord, we think of the many among us who are struggling with cancer, and other debilitating diseases. Father, we pray that you will comfort and strengthen them. Be with those among us who are lonely. Comfort them. Help us to be a comfort to them by reaching out and touching base. Even regardless of whether we feel comfortable being, visiting in person or anything, Lord, help us to reach out to one another by the phone or email or text or social media, however it is we can touch one another's hearts. Father, thank you for the support that this congregation has given not only to our family, but also to all of the families and individuals who are struggling within this congregation. Lord, we pray that you will be with our schools, with our teachers, with our professors, with our students, with those who are staff and faculty. Lord, we pray that you will strengthen them for these days. Lord, we think of high school students who are getting closer to the end of the semester. We think of elementary and high school students as they do online learning. We think of uh, teachers as they try and do that. And we think of professors and, and 
uh, students at colleges and universities who are working on a, a blended system or online or whatever. Lord, we pray that you will not only keep them safe, but also keep them, uh, keep them above water in the work that they have to do. And far, Father, we pray for all of those who work in the medical field. Particularly this morning, Lord, we pray for those who are working in long-term care. Lord, we pray for the home that Ron works at, where they have COVID in the facility, and the stress that that creates, not only because staff are off and in isolation, but also because it is simply a stressful environment right now. Father, we pray that you would give us all continued understanding and compassion for one another, Thank you for the counsel of this church that has worked so hard over the last couple years to honor you and to serve your people here at Athens CRC. We pray for their strength and encouragement, and we ask, O oh God, that you would help us to be compassionate and kind to them. Lord, we pray to you that as we come to your scriptures, that you would open our hearts and minds, that we would hear what you would have us hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.